Michael Jackson's maid reveals shocking new evidence against him. Welcome to Inform Overload, I'm your host Johnny Rogers and if you're new here we find the most interesting news stories on the internet and we make them more entertaining. A shocking new claim by former Neverland Ranch housekeeper Adrian McManus says that Michael Jackson was indeed a predatory pedophile. According to McManus he sexually abused dozens of children and she believes he filmed most of the encounters keeping the footage hidden in a secret library at the ranch. In the four years that the person personal maid worked for Jackson, she said she witnessed some very disturbing things. In the new documentary about the sexual abuse at Neverland Ranch, McManus says she saw Jackson lead a long line of young boys into his bedroom and would find many troubling things while cleaning up afterwards. These things would include fishing Michaels and children's underwear from the jacuzzi and other bathtubs around the home. She also witnessed children walking around barely clothed, even finding Vaseline and tampons next to the star's bed and scattered throughout the house. The maid claims that Michael had a strange obsession with photos of children. In a statement McManus recalls there was a lot of Vaseline around Neverland, a lot in Michael's bedroom. I didn't question it because he was my boss and you just do what you're supposed to do, but I would wonder. This detail in her recollection of Neverland Ranch is disturbing to say the least. The maid was also quoted saying I found underwear that were in the back of Michael's main room and one of the closets and it was in the back of the filing cabinets. She even remembers going into Mr. Jackson's bedroom to clean up and seeing little boys taking baths with him in the jacuzzi, adding with all the little boys he would hold their hands and kiss them and they would fight for Michael's love. It was a strange environment to watch. The strange request asked of this personal maid didn't stop there. McManus also said that Jackson asked her to laminate photos of naked babies and have them put in his room for decoration. Her claims have surfaced after the documentary release of Leaving Neverland on HBO. The documentary details Wade Robson and Jimmy Safechuck's allegations of long term abuse by Michael Jackson. Those were not the only allegations of abuse against Michael though. In 1993, a 13 year old boy named Jordan Chandler brought charges of sexual abuse against Jackson for which he was paid a $20 million cash settlement. You don't just give someone $20 million if you're innocent. That was for sure keep quiet money. The maid worked for Jackson at the start of 1990 and for four years as I mentioned before. During the time of the allegations, she remembers the man who ran the theater hid a lot of the videos and photos that Michael had stored there. The rumor being that the projectionist said because they were very damaging to Michael. Adrian McManus can also remember Jackson and his accuser Jimmy Safechuck having a strange relationship in the early 90s. She said he was always cuddling Jimmy, holding his hand or being amorous towards him in a more like a girlfriend than a friend kind of way. The further claims do not shock her as she says, I'm not shocked, I already know what he is, I live with it, I know the truth, it shouldn't shock me, it is kind of what it is, what it was. I think it would be devastating to his fans who are blindfolded by the reality that's what would hurt. Many are asking if she knew all these key details, why did she never speak up when it happened? Well, she did, along with other employees who sued Jackson in 1994 for their treatment during employment. They were routinely harassed and threatened by security guards and either fired or forced to quit after they sued. In their depositions, they even included the singer's alleged sexual abuse of minors. McManus even was called as a prosecution witness in his 2005 criminal trial. The evidence was destroyed, the victims were paid off, and Fans refused to believe it, so his legacy just continued untouched. Not to mention, he had his private security team issuing death threats to intimidate the staff of Neverland if they ever spoke of what they saw. McManus was even told by a bodyguard that they could hire a hitman to take her out, and that they could have somebody slice her neck and never find the body. So if anyone got that kind of a threat, it's pretty clear that you would be concerned for not only your life, but your family's. Michael Jackson is a pedophile. He spent millions of dollars on high profile lawyers and private detectives to protect his image as the king of pop. And to smear the names of anyone who spoke against him. The former housekeeper says in a parting statement, I hope people take off their blinders and realize that he was a man. People have urges. I wish more people would have spoken up because maybe today Michael would have been alive if they put him in prison. Maybe things could have gone different. I want to hear your thoughts on this story though, so comment down below with how you feel. Now let's check out some of your featured comments from the video titled, if you find one of these in the wall, don't touch it and call 911. The Deshaun Allen says, luckily I never found that. Just 
just a penny in my car door. A penny? You should still call 911. Samori Warfare says, cool Marvel shirt. Why thank you. KXNG Void says, who has the time to carve a hole into concrete? Seriously, don't these people have better things to do, like a hobby or a job maybe? The Shining Bob Game says, so electronic glory hole. Basically. First name says, it has porn viruses. <laughs> All I'm saying is be prepared for a Trojan virus if you stick that computer into that USB. Yeah, be prepared. Thank you for watching Inform Overload. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, like I always say, don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you want more videos like this one, click that playlist on the side of your screen. And as always, if you find any new and exciting stories that you want us to cover, look for my Instagram in the description below. Send me a DM. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers, and until next time, take care.